Now, let us uh, look at some of the uh, possible ways in which we connect the DC converters. Yeah, and note that say uh, we will use the line explicitly whenever there is a line and many a times we use the link uh, when is, there is no line and sometimes we use the word link to mean bo both ways whether there is a line or no line. Okay. So, link DC link is something which is used as a common word uh, for both cases whether there is a transmission line or transmission line is not there. But whenever there is a line, we explicitly state that there is a DC line. Okay. So, link is a very common word. DC link means line may be there or may not be there. So, there are different types of uh, DC link. So, let us look at uh, a few of the types of DC link. The first type is monopolar link. So, what I will try to do is, I will show only the schematic diagram, I will not be showing the circuit diagram, it is unnecessary and complicated to show circuit diagram, I will just show a schematic diagram. So, the schematic diagram is like this. So, this is a schematic diagram, I sh shown one rectifier here, there, there is a transformer and uh, in a box I have shown a thyristor. Now, this transformer, see all of you are familiar with this uh, symbol of transformer, right? So, this is one of the symbols used even in single line diagram that you are more familiar with. So, there is a transformer with a box with a thyristor. Now, this is a representation of what is known as a 12 pulse uh, con converter. Okay. So, if you look at a 12 pulse converter, there, are, there is a YY and Y delta transformer. There are two transformers and two 6 pulse converters. So, that entire arrangement is shown as one transformer and one box with a thyristor. So, this is the schematic representation of a 12 pulse converter. So, I have two identical 12 pulse converter, one on the rectifier side, one on the inverter side. And I have shown a wire in which a current ID is flowing and I have marked a minus sign here. Okay. So, what I am trying to say is by minus sign, this is the negative terminal of the DC side voltage. Now, the other end or the other terminal is the positive terminal. <coughs> Suppose, the rectifier and inverter are actually, I mean they are actually uh, uh, away from each other, there is a distance uh, of the order of uh, say few hundred kilometers between the rectifier and inverter. So, there is only one conductor which is the negative terminal, okay. there is only one conductor which is at the negative potential, the other terminal is actually grounded. Now, where should the current flow, say if the 
current has to circuit, I mean, complete the path. So, I D is flowing in one of the conductors. So, the, ad, the uh, other terminal which is positive terminal is actually the ground. So, the current is getting completed only by flowing through the ground or water in fact. Okay. So, this link has only one conductor. So, just one conductor uh, alone will not serve the purpose of current flow. So, I need to close the path. So, it uses ground or water return, ground return or water return. So, if it is uh, for the purpose of underwater transmission, the water itself is used as a path for the return current and very rarely metallic return is also used which is buried. Sometimes metallic return is used. The question is why not make conductor positive and ground negative? Conductor is usually negative. Since corona effects are substantially less compared with positive polarity of conductor. <coughs> so, this is one type of link monopolar link we look at uh, there, there are many types of links, but in this course we look at only two other types one is bipolar and is another one is homopolar. So, we look at those details in the next class.